Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Get a Life, a creation by Rick Hughes. Get a Life, 2020, is a practical book that offers guidance on achieving and maintaining a healthy equilibrium between your professional and personal life. By examining the factors that impact these crucial areas and identifying ways to optimize them, the insights presented in Get a Life will empower you to make informed decisions that result in a fulfilling and well-balanced life. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Rick Hughes has amassed over 25 years of experience as a coach, counselor, and well-being consultant. Throughout his career, he has held prominent roles, such as Head of Service for the University of Aberdeen Counseling Service and Lead Advisor at the Workplace for the British Association for Counseling and Psychotherapy. Rick has also co-authored several books, including The Wellbeing Workout, The Crisis Book, and Employee Wellbeing Support. This publication summarizes the book Get a Life and is authorized by Kogan Page. With eight key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, this text is encouraging the reader to create more harmony in their life starting today. It emphasizes the idea of focusing on oneself and the benefits that can be gained from doing so. These summarizer offer advice on achieving a good work-life balance. They highlight the importance of making changes to improve happiness and control, focusing on creating meaningful experiences at work, nurturing relationships, and taking time for self-care. The summarizer discuss finding happiness in a job you don't love, time management strategies, and the impact of friendships on well-being. Key idea number one, forming beneficial work relationships is important for any professional. To achieve this, it is crucial to understand the lay of the land and make key connections. By understanding the dynamics of the workplace and identifying important stakeholders, you can build strong relationships that will ultimately benefit your career. Building relationships takes time and effort, but by actively seeking out opportunities to connect with others, you can establish a strong network of colleagues and mentors. These relationships can lead to new opportunities, guidance and support throughout your professional journey. The text discusses the importance of understanding how people and dynamics fit together in a workplace in order to form beneficial work relationships. By observing company dynamics and norms and adapting accordingly, individuals can connect with colleagues, make friends and participate in networking opportunities. Genuine and successful networking involves offering help and guidance to others leading to improved experiences and opportunities for growth. Key idea number two. Improving job satisfaction involves doing more of what brings us joy and recognizing our accomplishments. Not many people are completely in love with their job. However, it is possible to find some level of satisfaction even in a less than perfect job. Job satisfaction comes from validation, fulfillment, and feeling good about our work. We can enhance these by focusing on the aspects of work that make us feel validated or fulfilled. If nothing in our job ticks these boxes, it's an opportunity to figure out what would and make necessary changes. It's also important to acknowledge our achievements and take time to reflect on a job well done. Writing down three achievements at the end of each workday can boost our attitude towards work. Key idea number three. Working strategically and being open to receiving help from others can lead to greater productivity and efficiency. The key message in this text is that by working strategically and allowing others to help us, we can achieve more in less time. The author suggests using the Eisenhower principle, which involves prioritizing tasks based on their importance and urgency. Delegation is also emphasized as a way to save time and reduce workload. Trusting others to help us can lead to more time and peace of mind. Key idea number four, investing in relationships with ourselves and others is beneficial for our well-being. 
investing in healthy relationships with ourselves and others improves our overall well-being. This includes developing self-awareness and understanding our wants and needs, reflecting on our qualities, experiences, and dealing with emotional wounds can help us form healthy relationships. In a partnership, both partners have responsibilities and compromises should be made for mutual fulfillment. Key idea number five, the importance of quality time with family and friends cannot be overstated. Empty calories refers to food that fills you up but lacks nutrients. The same concept applies to spending time with family and friends. It's about quality, not quantity. Focus on relationships that are reciprocal and fulfilling. Ending unbalanced friendships is possible, while handling difficult family relationships involves acknowledging conflicts or avoiding certain topics. Balancing time spent with children is important, and incorporating activities that both you and your child enjoy can create a better balance in parenting. Key idea number six. Our homes have an impact on our emotions and mental well-being, so it's important to ensure they fulfill our needs. Our homes have an impact on our well-being, so it is important to make sure they meet our needs. We should create conditions that leave us in the best mood and state of mind. Communication and compromise are key when living with others to ensure a calm environment. Working from home may not be suitable for everyone, as factors like space, equipment and social interaction need to be considered. Key idea number seven. Being constantly connected to technology is detrimental to our well-being and can have negative consequences. Technology has provided numerous benefits, but it also has downsides. Being constantly connected can reduce our quality of life and harm us. We feel the need to immediately respond to messages which interrupts our work, personal time and rest. However, technology also offers tools to regain control. Allocate specific times to turn off email and text notifications. Social media can prevent us from enjoying life in the moment and expose us to online bullying. Use social media in moderation and be conscious of how it affects you. Consider reducing your online time if necessary. Key idea number eight, self-care. Focusing on both mental and physical well-being enhances the ability to cope with life's challenges. The key message is that taking time for yourself improves your ability to handle stress. Prioritizing mental well-being by setting aside time for activities that relax and rejuvenate your mind is important. Regular exercise is also necessary for physical fitness, energy, focus and mood improvement. The World Health Organization recommends 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week. Finding an enjoyable activity is crucial for sticking to an exercise routine. Getting around eight hours of sleep, avoiding coffee and alcohol, and creating a bedtime routine are important for rest and overall sleep quality. In conclusion, the key message is that getting the best possible deal in personal and professional life involves making meaningful connections and being intentional with time. The suggestion is to add creativity and excitement to life, as it can lead to personal growth and positive impacts in other areas. The text also mentions the book, It Doesn't Have to Be Crazy at Work, as a resource for navigating workplace pressures and maintaining peace of mind. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.